Oh my gosh. So many colors. Hey guys, you're watching Katie Crafts. I hope you still remember me since I haven't posted in so long, but this time I have a good excuse. Right after I finished my exams, I went straight to China to just go on vacation and hang out with my dad. We were doing touristy things, just embracing the culture, trying the food, practicing the language, and one of the stops happened to be Shenzhen, which is where Art Cow Beats headquarters is located. So a little bit of backstory, Art Cow and I have a bit of history. Last Last year, they sent me 30,000 of their beads that I did a video on to check out the quality, see what it's like to work with Art Cow Beads. Bring forward to this year, they contacted me again to ask if I wanted some more beads. And of course, I was like, oh, cool, yeah, I would love some more beads, but could I actually just visit your headquarters since I'm in China anyway? And they said yes, they were so cool about it and they let me film whatever I want. So I filmed as much as I could so that I could share it with you guys as well. Also, you guys know the drill, this video isn't sponsored, I'm never sponsored. I went to Art Cow Bees out of my own curiosity. So this is a very special experience for me and I hope you guys enjoy the video. The trip began with a one hour drive from our Shenzhen hotel to the warehouse building. Alright, I think we are in the area where the warehouse is, but we still have to find the front door. I think we found it! I met up with Doris, who I had been emailing weeks before to arrange the meetup. My dad and I were greeted with this adorable little sign that had our country's flags on them, and from there, we started the tour. This is Doris, who's going to show me around our cow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I was definitely very excited to be in Art Cal's creative space and you'll hear me say wow a lot in this video so I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, this is the exhibition room where they keep all their bead sprites that they've made throughout the years and also where they display their product samples. So I'm in the warehouse. I'm actually here where they make Art Cal beads and uh, pack this is where they package them right you yeah. have the factory somewhere else yeah, yeah. where's the factory in china in guangxi just FYI, the headquarters slash warehouse is in Shenzhen, which is in the Guangdong province of China, where the fuse beads are actually made is in Guangxi, another province that's close by. So this is Doris and she what do you do at ArtCal? Like what is your role, your job? Um running business and post on video and others on YouTube and in and on the Twitter. I'm gonna try to speak <laughs> Chinese to her even though my Chinese is not so good so that we, it's easier to communicate and she can say a lot of stuff. So, you're Doris was so kind and welcoming to us. She's so cute and she's the reason why I was able to come here in the first place. Her English is actually very good, but to make things more comfortable for the both of us, and since I'm the one visiting China, I tried practicing my Mandarin speaking and I'm glad she understood what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, she's at Wang Shang Maida. These are all of the kits that they have. They even have big buckets. Oh, and those are sorted beads with a whole bunch of colors. And then these are the ones that you can just assemble a small sprite. 
with a lot of 3D ones too. I'm done looking through this room and Doris is going to take me to another part of the Art Cow warehouse. Right outside the exhibition room is the office where the employees work on sales, running the website, design, social media. They all seem like nice people. Hello! <laughs> We headed over to the other side of the warehouse and I met some more employees. Oh, this is the packaging area, right? Uh, wow. If you have a lot of people, you will have a lot of people. But now, people are not. Oh, so when, when they have a lot of packages to make, then they will have more employees here. But right now, there's right now there aren't that many because it's not too busy. Oh, so that's the machine that seals it. Ni hao. <laughs> oh, this is one of their new colors. I think they have a whole set of greens that are similar to the olive color. Oh, that's it. Jiga, yeah, sure. That's the filling machine that fills the bags full of mini beads. This one is looks like mini beads. Whoa. Okay, let's see. What else we have? I can't believe I'm here. Actually, wow! Just look at all of those. These are all art cow beads ready to be packaged. These ones are already done, and those ones she still needs to seal them up. <laughs> Oh, and these are their water beads. They have a whole collection. Wow. <laughs> so they use a weight to estimate the approximate amount of 1,000 beads. They don't actually count them. Seeing all these loose beads here, I wanted to try packaging a 1,000 bead bag myself. One of the ladies let me take her seat and explained how she weighs approximately 1,000 beads each time. First, you have to tear or zero the scale with the container on it, and from there you can measure the weight of a bag of beads. She told me a bag of 1,000 beads is around 56.5 grams, so as long as it's close to that value, you know that there are enough beads in there. And the way they figured that out was by weighing 100 beads first and then doing the math to get an approximate weight for 1,000 beads. Using the measuring cup, she told me to pour in two full cups and then sprinkle in some more beads or take out some if needed. That's close enough to the 1,000 bead weight. I didn't want to keep the lady from going back to work, so that one is ready to be sealed. Never did I think I would be able to package my own bag of 1,000 beads. Maybe one of you guys will end up with it. And that's the packaging process. I wish I could have shown you the machine that does it, but it wasn't set up that day. Here are some 10 millimeter art cow beads. Oh my gosh, these are all just beads. This is, these are mini beads? Oh yeah, these are all mini beads. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so colorful in here. Guys, this is every fuse bead artist's dream. Oh my gosh, I made a factory that has, look at that. There must be millions in here. These are all just one color and there's there has to be a million millions of them all over this shelf. Oh here are some sorted mini bead colors as now they have 
about 170 different colors. Here is another area full of just mini beads. That is just mini beads. Wow. This is what it's like to be in a warehouse. I thought I had already seen a lot in the warehouse, but then I met Fan who showed me even more. Okay, so this is Fan Yuan, the manager at Art Cal Beats. Hello, everybody. How long have you been in this work? Actually, I'm the company's founder. We started this company in 2018. And so you manager manager是要干什么？呃，主要是开发客户，然后去开拓市场这一块，包括呃研发，就是呃包括增加颜色，对，嗯，这一系列的事情我都会去负责。你们有这么多种颜色，你们怎么选哪个要做哪种颜色呢
many colors. I'm just baffled by what it's like to be inside a warehouse for fused beads. There's so many beautiful colors. I love this color. I love all those colors. Blue is my favorite color. And I also really love green. This is a cool looking green. What? Wow. Look at this. This is absolutely incredible. This is the area where they have a whole bunch of pegboards. They got they've got turtle pegboards, monkey pegboards. Wow, there's just such a huge supply. <laughs> These are all packaged mini beads. It's like rice. So these are a bunch of kits that they are selling. Um, these are all just mini bead ones. <laughs> it's just rows after row. This is like a whole bunch of colors, like the rainbow. And then it's just huge kits. All of them are just kits. <laughs> they're telling me that they're trying to make a box set of every single color that they have. So right now they have 216 colors in total and these are just the box sets of all of the different colors. You get a little bit of each color. Oh, okay. So this area, if you get if if you have the three boxes, you'll get 108 different colors. And then this one, you'll have 72 different colors. So the one down here, the 216, that's where. Wow, that's where you have the most colors in a box set. Wow. Oh, wait, this is with this. Yes, this is. Oh, okay. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes, and you'll get every single color from Art Cal. Wow. I had to rush near the end of the tour because three hours had passed already and my dad was going to be late for a dinner with somebody. I wish he could have just left me there a little bit longer, but I think you guys have seen enough of the warehouse and all the beads. I know it's not something most people get excited over, but I thought the warehouse was fantastic and I wish I could just go back again. They had other toys that aren't bead related like these building bricks and I love how they display all their projects in that awesome exhibition room. It really inspired me and gave me some motivation to do more projects. A random thing that I didn't show you earlier was that they have a full supply of Chinese snacks for employees to eat and they offered me milk tea but I went for the soya milk. They even got me a gift which I was so surprised to receive. I of course had to give them a Canadian mousse. I'll never forget this experience and I loved meeting some of the people behind Art Cal. Okay, so that's the Art Cal warehouse. Thank you to Doris. Hello. And Thank Thank you to them for showing me around and also I got a huge haul, which I'll show you guys later. So thank you Art Cal Beads. Okay. <laughs> Again, I would just like to say thank you so much to our cow beads for that experience. And I want to thank Doris and Fengyuan 
for taking the time to show me around and to explain everything about their beads, about their company. They were so sweet and I'm glad that they understood what I was speaking in Chinese. It was so fun. I had a blast seeing what their warehouse is like and just being surrounded by millions of fuse beads. I hope you guys learned a little something about what it's like in a fuse bead warehouse. I don't think anyone else has ever been able to experience this or at least make a video like this. So please give this a thumbs up, especially for Doris and Feng Yuan who were amazing. This video is getting really long so I'll just end it at that. Art Cal, if you're watching this, thank you so much for having me. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another Kiwi Craft. Bye!